Okay. See what I'm- That's weird. It's weird. Hi, people. I'm back. Um, I have been learning the, uh, ups and downs of sound alerts over the last week or so. Um, and if it continues to behave this way, I may just have to drop it in a hot second. Like, it's- it's being finicky in a way that doesn't need to happen. Doesn't need to be like this. Hi, Wolf. Good morning. Hi, Mishka. Good morning. And Dinkle, if Dinkle is back, good morning to you as well, my friend. Yeah, um, we're discovering that sound alerts is very finicky. You have to open things in a certain um, sequence. And if you don't open them in the proper sequence, then they don't play properly. Like, they just don't connect. So, I'm not sure why that is, but it is what it is. Um, why are you playing them locally on your machine anyway, instead of having a web overlay that adds a sound panel to your scene like anything else? Um, I have a sound alerts, um, integration. So, as far as I'm aware, I have done what you suggest. It's just that, for whatever reason, sorry, dogs are making noise, for whatever reason, um, it wants to be done in a certain, in a certain order. Good morning, Kyle. Hello, hello. Kanata, good morning. Welcome in. I guess Twitch is dead. Well, I mean, are we all really surprised? Is anyone really shocked that... Are we really surprised that it's weird that there are quirks, little little bugs and things? I, I don't think that would be that surprising to me. <laughs> Twitch has always been a little questionable sometimes. Okay, I had to restart the app. Welcome back. Fingers crossed. We'll keep our fingers crossed that it's working for you. But um, I actually have been considering switching away from sound alerts, honestly. Um, I, I love sound alerts, but there are other... I know there are other things that I could be using. And it's not... It's got weird little quirks to it that make my life harder. And I know there are others out there, so I've been kind of keeping my eyes open. Looking at the market, wondering which other application would be better for me. So, if I see something newer and and sleek and more practical and functional, I will drop it in a hot second. <laughs> I will do it. Papa Amazon didn't have money to fix Twitch, but he did have the money to fly on his rocket. I'm just gonna call it that. <laughs> There are certain things I don't want to say because they might be immortalized in stream. Although YouTube can read it if they would like. That way. Read it over there. <laughs> Bezos lost all the fixed Twitch money in his divorce. No, I think Bezos has the money. We all know he has the money. That's not the problem. I, If I were someone who had the money and had the option to fix something or not. The question would be whether it's financially worth it. Whether I'm gonna get my money back. I don't know if Twitch just Twitch has proven that they can get him his money back. I don't know if it has. Cause it used to be very popular. You know, COVID gave it a huge boost because people were stuck inside and had nothing else to do. But now I don't know. You know, it's dropped off a little bit. If I were an investor, I would wonder whether I was going to get my money back. Whether I was going to make a profit with it. That being said, I still enjoy being here. I, I wish it all the best, but if I were Bezos, I would wonder too. Um, to be honest, even despite all the issues, Twitch is in the best spot it's been since inception. Because at least we don't have a three minute long video delay anymore. I think I think they are making improvements. I think they are trying to to do what they can to improve it. So I am seeing little things that they're doing that feels like it's going in the right direction. Now granted I haven't been here that long. <laughs> so <laughs> so maybe I'm incorrect here. But it feels like they've been adding some things in. Like they um They've added in the, the clips, like the featured clips option, which seems to promote people's shorts 
Um, so if they're if they're going that way to short form content, that feels at least in line with other um, other social media outlets that have been using um, short form content to their advantage. It's being discontinued. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> that did not take long at all. Um, because I know when I make shorts for YouTube, they're they're wildly more successful than long form content. Because my long form content is it's a direct stream. It's this like it's literally just three to six hours of uploaded content. And some sometimes people do watch it, but a short clip that's going to be like 20 to 30 seconds, somewhere in there, those shorts are wildly more successful because they're more digestible. They're, it's like a quick highlight of what works in the stream, um, like a special moment. They're much more successful. Excuse me, I'm like eating at the same time. I haven't had breakfast. I started streaming in like 2013 to 14. Wow. Yeah, see, I don't have that kind of experience under my belt. That's impressive. I am uh I'm the new kid on the block trying to discover all the little quirks and tricks. Shorts are huge now. I find myself watching them without even noticing. You can watch a hundred of them in like five minutes. Yeah, it's 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 basically the TikTok effect, right? Like you start swiping and then you see something and then you swipe to the next one or or you don't swipe and it takes you automatically to the next one. It's just that constant, um, yeah. It, it kind of just keeps going until you stop it. And sometimes you can't stop it. Oh, now I remember what I was gonna fix. <laughs> Thank you for the, Kyle, thank you for the sub. And you subbed three months in advance. That's so impressive. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, this morning, I was, this morning I was getting ready and I was like, there was something I was going to fix or address before this stream. And I couldn't remember what it was. It was that sound. <laughs> it was, um, it was the sound that people were like, wow, that's a little loud. I was, I was going to fix that. And I totally forgot. So, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, but thank you so much, Kyle. That's so sweet. So sweet of you. Um, I hope you enjoy the emotes to your heart's content. There's a lot of good ones in there. Well, I think they're good. I think they're fun. But I hope you enjoy them. I hate YouTube shorts. My feed just has the same six clips for months and no matter how much you scroll, you always get, really, you always get the same? Interesting. Not to mention literally every other, yes, yeah, they, they get the ads in there as, as their means of making money. <laughs> I have highlights on my channel from 2013. I, um, I, unfortunately I can't brag about being here that long. I haven't. I'm the new kid on the block. It is very interesting to discover, though. I've been watching a lot of um, YouTube videos from streamers who've been around for a long time talking about Twitch, but, like, from years ago. So I'm, I'm kind of catching up on what Twitch used to be like, and it's a little trippy. Like, listening to them talk about, well, maybe in the future we'll have this, or maybe in the future we'll have that, and I'm over here like, no, you won't. <laughs> I'm also very technically apt. I do work with this stuff as a career. Yeah, it's it's helpful when you work with this stuff as a career, Kanata. I, I am jealous of those people who know exactly what they're doing technologically. Because I'm making this up on the fly most of the time. <laughs> Hi, Morgan. Welcome in. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. It's Friday. I'm so excited. It's not my Friday. I still work tomorrow. But I'm so pumped <laughs> for all you people who are going into the weekend. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, Kyle, you got the OG sound. It's um before I before I either turn it off or fix it or swap it out or turn it down or whatever. Before before I do any of that, you got the OG sound. Um yeah, there are certain things on this stream that 
I just kind of go with. I don't even know how they got there, and I don't know how to get rid of them, but I go with it. <laughs> and that's one of those sounds. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that's there now. I mean, I added the fairy sound, but there's that little, like, ding, or whatever you call it, that just kind of showed up one day. I don't know how I got it there, and I don't know how to take it back. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to play with it and track it down. Mm. I get a lot of great YouTube shorts and a lot of bad ones. Yeah, there's a lot of bad ones, and I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. Like, I keep making little rules for myself, like maybe do this and not that. And then I try it, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm like, okay. We're gonna keep this rule, but we're gonna add in this addendum, and then we try it again. And so it's a little bit of try- well, it's a lot of trial and error. And when it works, I'm on an all-time high. Like, I'm riding high. I'm like, alright, this one got 2.5 thousand views. I am happy with that. I'm so happy with that. And then I'm like, this is the rule to follow. So I do it again with a different clip, and I get, like, five views. I'm like, shit, I suck at this. I shouldn't be doing this. It's terrible. Cross out all the rules, start it all over again. And then the next one I'm up again. I'm like, what the hell? I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing that's working and not working, but when it works, I'm riding high. Like, I am so happy. I, that is my boost for the day. That's all I need in life. <laughs> and then the next one, it might work or it might not. So I'm I'm learning as I go. That being said, I have discovered that Dragoon is not the best game for clips. Like I've gotten a couple really good ones, but not nearly as many as I normally would with other games. And I think that's because with turn-based games, while they're really great for um, allowing me to stop and check with chat and talk to people, they're not so great for those action sequences, those boss fights where, you know, you have a really exciting moment and you want to clip that. Um, it's not so great with that. It's a slower pace, yeah. It's definitely a slower pace. Happy September, aka September. Guys, I am new enough to Twitch that I did not know September was a thing. The first uh, streamer that I knew who mentioned September, I was like, oh, that's such a, that's such a good idea. They're, you know, they're doing a pro promotional thing for their stream. That's a good idea. And then the next streamer said it and I was like, wait, there's no way these two streamers are coordinating. I'm missing something. <laughs> and then I realized, oh wait, this is my first September here. So I'm probably missing something. <laughs> I, uh, I was not involved with September last year, <laughs> so it was, um, it was an interesting thing to discover. Oh, Kanata! That's so nice of you! Thank you so much! And it went to Morgan, which is even better, because I know Morgan will enjoy it and use it. That's so nice of you to gift it to Morgan. Thank you! That's so sweet of you! But, um... That little, like, ba-ding that went off when my fairies came onto the screen. I definitely put that there. <laughs> That's not a rogue sound at all. <laughs> Thank you, Kanata. That's so sweet. I figured, I figured you specifically gave it to Morgan. Yeah. I was gonna renew on Monday, but that works. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, Kanata. Um, okay, let me back it up a little bit. I want to make sure I get it all. Um, nothing just showed up anywhere. Trust me. Uh, I trust you. I trust you. Okay, support Mew is all set now to attempt this Mewtwo thing. Good luck, Mishka. Mishka is um, is tackling one of the greats, and and we wish him luck. Uh, no rules. <laughs> None. No rules whatsoever. My best video I ever released was a speedrun of Yoshi's Woolly World when I was relatively known in the community. I've never played that one. Yoshi's Woolly World. I've never played that one. I've heard of it. I've seen it, but I've never played it myself. It had a few K views. I was so happy. Yeah, I feel like that's good. 
May I, like, I don't know. The thing is, I'm so new to all of this. I'm like, is this good? I think it's good. It feels good. <laughs> but I'm sure someone out there is like, it's not that great, you noob. But I feel like it's good. It's, it's definitely a slower paced game, especially with the turn based. I'm enjoying it, but it does mean that I have to be careful how many turn based games I do in, in a sequence, you know? I gotta break it up with other things. I gotta cut in the turn based games with more action based games. I met one of my recent. Wait. I went, met one of my recent friends on TikTok, and she gets like a couple thousand views on a video typically. One of them got boosted to 4.5. Damn, we still don't understand what happened there. I mean, sometimes the algorithm just does what it's gonna do. I mean, it is not for us to question why. Sometimes I just gotta be happy that it happened and go with it. But that's amazing. That's that's so cool. I don't know what I would do if that happened. I'd honestly probably be, just be glued to my phone, refreshing every few seconds to watch the number go up. That would be magical. I don't know how I would handle that though. I have done that before where I put up a short and I'm waiting and I'm watching and I'm like, you know, nothing's happening. This is not going anywhere. Damn, I guess I made a really terrible short today. And and I leave the house or whatever it is I'm doing um, a little disappointed in my progress and in myself and I'll put my phone down and I'll go do something and I'll come back to my phone three or four hours later and it exploded while I wasn't looking. <laughs> And so it went from like five views to 3,000. I'm like, holy shit. Like I was not expecting that. And and that unexpected surprise is really very uplifting. It really is. It's very cool to like walk away and come back and be like, damn, I don't know what happened, but somebody liked it and it just took off. Hi devil, good morning, happy Friday. I'm so happy. For all the people who are enjoying Friday, I don't know who you are. I don't know if it's your Friday or not, but if it is, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. It's my payday today as well. Okay, it's payday for Kanata and Morgan. Nice. It, is it my payday? I think it might be. Actually, I'm not positive. I can't remember. Oh my god, that's bad. I... I kind of just, its that's probably bad. I just kind of trust that my money will show up because it's been, you know, the, the organization that I've been with, I've been with so long that I know it's going to show up. So, like, I should probably keep track of that more. I'm really bad with, I've got a really bad head for numbers, guys. Always. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a date or if it's uh, someone's birthday or anniversary or if it's, um... Just like any kind of, any kind of numbers. I'm so bad at keeping track of it. Forgive me, I'm eating breakfast. Yeah, what matters is that we feel it's good. It's a hobby for us because we have, right, right. I have a full-time job, so at this point, it's a hobby. So it's more about having fun and making friends than being popular, right? Yes. Yes, Kanata, it is. It's always been more about having fun and making friends than being popular. <laughs> I gave up on being popular a long time ago. I'm super awkward. I'm just not good at the whole popularity thing. Feels so stressful. Good morning, Pork. Happy Friday. Gotta lurk, gotta work, have fun and good luck. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. And I love your, I love your, your pig in a blanket. That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. That might be, I mean, your, your pig with a heart is really cute, but your pig in a blanket might be my favorite one. It's so cozy I need something like a special day or something to get me going September 1st seems like a great day to start streaming again now that my new curtains are up 
Kanata, I laughed so hard when you said you were you were actively putting your curtains up when I when I typed that response to you. <laughs> because I a part of my brain is just kind of sad that that room doesn't have a window in it cuz I like natural light. But I keep being, you know, people keep telling me, no, it's a good thing it doesn't have a window. You don't want a window. It's going to fuck up your lighting. But I do want one. <laughs> I want one. Um, mine comes through the mail. I got to wait till the mailman stops by. <laughs> I mean, snail mail will still get it there. It takes a little longer, but it'll get it there. Through rain or sleet or snow, it'll happen. They're very reliable folks. I never never gave a fuck about being popular. Never saw the big deal. Me neither. I really didn't. Like, I remember when I was a teenager and that kind of thing seemed to matter a lot. And I remember looking over at the, quote, popular kids and, like, kind of paying, I was paying close attention to it. I was like trying to figure out what it was that was so important that I needed to know. And the more I watched them, the more unhappy they seemed to be. Like, they, there were more rules that they placed on themselves that seemed so unnecessary. I'm like, why are you making it even harder for yourself? High school sucks already. <laughs> like, why would you, <laughs> why would you want to do that? So, um, I gave up on that real quick. I was like, I don't want that for myself. That doesn't seem fun at all. So, I just didn't. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing, because I don't know if I could have made myself fit into that group either. So, it all worked out. I'm socially awkward, to be honest. Then again, I blame my antisocial anxiety. I mean, that probably has something to do with it. But... It's okay to be socially awkward. Like, that's okay. I'm socially awkward all the time. The number of times I trip over things trying to be cool is just insane. Um, it, it keeps my ego in check. Anytime I think I'm really hot shit, I do something really stupid and it levels the playing field, you know? It keeps me humble. It's good. It builds character. I'm really glad uh, it's a beautiful day where you are, Kanata. I'm really reclusive and I'm a bit awkward, but I'm actually super social. I call myself um, a social introvert. That's how I think of myself nowadays. I used to be an introvert introvert where I didn't talk to people. I was very quiet. It was very hard to get me to open up and communicate with people. Um, now I have to be social because of my job. It requires a lot of interaction with the public. Um, so I consider myself a, a social introvert, which is essentially, I talk to people in, when I have to in my job because it's required of me. <laughs> because it's how I make the money and pay the bills. And then, once I get home, I am like completely antisocial. <laughs> I mean, there may be one or two people that I'll still talk to, but uh, I go out of my way to kind of become a little hermit during the weekend. So I don't like to go out and do things very often. If I can help it, I'm really more of a homebody. Um, I do a lot of, I have a lot of hobbies that I can do from home. And weirdly enough, this doesn't feel social. I know that sounds weird because I know there are uh, people on the other side of this camera. Having you not physically here actually makes me less anxious. And I know some people say it's the opposite and as soon as there's a camera on, it ratchets up their anxiety. For me, it's not like that for some reason. So I'm happy about that. I'll take it. Uh, YouTube in general works in very weird ways that don't always work properly. Anytime you upload something, it trains itself based on your typical audiences. So let's say you play a lot of Mario, so it's going to typical Mario watchers, and then if those Mario watchers also like Zelda, it tries to- Yeah, I noticed that. The issue is that if you constantly play new games and don't upload videos of a certain uniform style, it just chokes and doesn't do anything. Um, I do feel like I've been trying to be more mindful about the titles that I use, because certain titles um, seem to trigger more of a response with people, or they, they seem to be boosted a little bit more. Um, I'm still working out the finer details on how to do that, 
but I've been trying to be more mindful of that. That being said, I haven't created shorts for a little bit because I've been getting uh, very few shorts from this game just because of its nature being a turn-based game. I get fewer, but um, we've been trying. This is always my favorite big attire Wednesday Adam vibes. I love that. I'm good with that. If that's what I'm, if that's the vibe I'm giving off, I'll take it. I purposefully made myself look like an idiot for laughs. My friends took a while to pick up on it. <laughs> I mean, if it works, right? I don't think I'm socially awkward, but I've definitely realized over the years that people don't like me no matter what I do, except Pumpkin, who thinks I'm funny for some reason. Tinkle, I've been telling you you're funny. I mean, I I do think your delivery is better when you, when you vocalize it, because you put a certain inflection on your words that make it more humorous, and that's hard to read in text. But I to I've been telling you you're funny and you don't believe me. And then Pumpkin comes along and you're like, well, she doesn't make any sense either. I'm like, <laughs> we're both telling you. <laughs> you got it, Mishka. You got it on your own. Oh, nice. I'm so proud of you. Are you happy? You Tell me you're happy. I know you're happy. This is your... I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited. Clickbait unfortunately works. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. I I try very hard not to give you guys any um any clickbait notifications cuz I'm like, "Fickle, that's not cool. Don't do that." But there have been a couple times where I've been tempted. I'm like, "We're going to get them in here. And we're going to get them in here by any means necessary cuz this is an important day." <laughs> I haven't done it yet. I want to say I haven't done it, but I've been tempted once or twice. Astral, welcome in. Okay, Astral triggered the question of the day. Um, <laughs> oh, my little chickens are just walking by. Um, Astral triggered the question of the day, which is, what is something you've been wanting to try but haven't yet? Um, for me, I, I tend to pick up hobby interests really quickly. I don't always keep them. Sometimes I pick up an interest, I try it once or twice, and then I'm like, that wasn't fun, I'm not doing that anymore. And also, what do I do with all this equipment I just bought to try it? <laughs> um, one of the things that I've been meaning to do, and I've bought the supplies for, and I haven't done it yet, is a long ass time ago, I bought the supplies um, for candle making. I thought it would be really fun. I bought all the supplies for it. I've got the wax. I've got the different like aromas and scents to put in it. I've got all the materials to make it. Haven't done it, but I want to try. I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be fun to make my own candles. I was really falling down the rabbit hole too. And then something happened in my personal life and I just got derailed and I haven't done it yet, but I've been wanting to. Okay. Let me catch up. Um, they love it now that they understand it. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of adjustment. A hole in a wall Chinese food restaurant's crab ragoon. Oh, I have not tried that. It sounds good. It sounds good. You're very smart, dude, but don't be so hard on your- I mean, it's true! Dinkle, I think you're very intelligent. I- I mean, I feel like that shines through when you speak, so... I- Yeah. I don't know what else I can say. At some point, at some point, you gotta believe me or not. Guys, can you make my eggs cook faster? Thanks. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Um, you could try cooking eggs on the surface of the sun. I mean, I feel like you might burn them. Yeah, that's too hot. That's, that's more of a, uh, that's, that's risky. Hi, Pat. Good morning. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Legend of Ragoon. I'm sorry. Every now and then my eyes go from one screen to, like, from one part of my screen, I was going to say to another screen, but I only have the one, um, from one screen to another part of my screen, and, and then I catch certain chat out of order, and it's, it's a whole thing. Um, yeah, like, if I'm around friends that I know for a while, I'm more open-minded. However, if you threw me in a crowd of new people, 
I'm like really anxious because my mind is like, I don't know any of these people. My heart starts beating fast trying to figure out what to say. Morgan, I do that too. I, I absolutely do that too. And you know what happens? I get invited to uh, an outing or a gathering or something that I can't get out of. And I get there and I realize either I know no one or the people I know have not arrived yet or something has happened. And I'm by myself and I'm looking around and it's making me anxious. And then I see a dog and I'm the one who ends up on the floor in the corner with the dog and they are my company for the evening. <laughs> That's me. I gravitate toward the pet in the house. <laughs> They're like my buffer to the rest of the world. Or if I know they have a dog, I go straight to them first because I need, I need my buffer to help me incorporate other people in. Astral, you don't like dogs at all? Oh, I love dogs. I'm such a dog person. I like cats too. Don't get me wrong. I do like cats. I would, I would enjoy having a cat, but I'm more of a dog person. I really am. Uh, I almost unfollow everyone who types... So and so mentioned you in chat. Does that, does it, Astral, does it count when I tell you that I mentioned you in chat? <laughs> when I say something afterwards and I'm like, oh yeah, I was talking about you today. Does that count? Because man, you, you gotta kind of spam that unfollow button because <laughs> if I talk to some, if I talk about someone in chat and they're not there, I feel compelled to tell them so that so that they know that I'm not talking mad shit. I mean, maybe I am. I just, all I say is that I talked about you. I don't say what I said. Um, every time I pick up a new hobby, I grind it to death until I'm insanely burnt out and then I never touch it again. I have done that before. I do that more with video games. I do that more with video games. Like, I binge it. I fall down that rabbit hole. I go really hard on whatever the game is. And then one day, <laughs> I just wake up and it's like, oh, I'm going to try something different now. And then I don't touch it for for so long. And then when I come back to it, I rediscover it all over again. It's like a brand new game. And I'm like, oh my god, why did I ever leave this? <clears throat> but then I have to start it over because it's been so long, right? So I wipe out all my progress and I start over. And then I fall down that rabbit hole and we just repeat it again. That's what I did. I've done that with Animal Crossing a couple times. And I just recently did that with Stardew Valley. I'm on another Stardew Valley binge. It's a dark, dark hole I've fallen down. And I don't want to get out. <laughs> make a candle. Kyle's like, make a candle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the thing is, I have all the candle making supplies. It's all there at my disposal. I have no excuse. Except that I haven't done it. <laughs> my dad used to make candles. Did, was it like, was it a hobby of his? Did he like try it once or was it something that he was very familiar with? I would like to try it. I don't know if I'm going to want to keep doing it after I try it, but I want to try it at least once. I got to remember to eat. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I take a long while to warm up to people and start talking, but when I do, I never shut up and you can't get rid of me. That's what I do with people that are close to me. Once I get close to people, I don't shut up. It's a problem. Ha! Ah, you said a nice thing to me, so now I'm legally- <laughs> So now I'm legally now allowed to leave! Deal with it! Dinkle, I have a coworker like that. She can say the nicest things about other people all day long, and as soon as I compliment her back, she's like, Uh-uh, no, not okay with this. I'm like, what is your problem? She's like, I can't handle you complimenting me like this. I'm like, it's totally fine. The next time that you say a mean thing about yourself, I'll compliment you. And if you say a nice thing about yourself, I'll say you have ugly shoes or something. Like, we'll balance it out. It's fine. She doesn't accept that answer, but it is what it is. I hope I beat it today too, Astral. Thank you. Um, speaking of... We should probably jump into it. So here's the thing, guys. I don't know if this is the last stream or not. If if it's this one, fantastic. If it's not this one, it will absolutely be this weekend. Because I want to play Majora's Mask. <laughs> I'm ready to play a new game. I've been on 
this game for three weeks now. <clears throat> three stream weeks, which means it's been more like six weeks? It's been a while. I'm ready to play something else on stream. I am playing different things off stream so that I don't go insane just playing one game. But I really want to play something else. Um, I get super anxious when I stream and no one is watching. Kanata, really? You get more anxious when no one's watching than when people are watching? I'm a cat person. <laughs> I love, I love cats, don't get me wrong, but I'm a dog person. Dogs are the best thing ever, I agree. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna catch up real quick and then we're gonna jump right in. Um, but I love dogs also. Okay, Kanata, see, that's how I feel about cats. I'm a dog person, but I, I love cats too. Like, I have no problem with either one of them. I love doggies. I have five myself. Five. I would love another dog, but I have two right now. So I feel like two's probably enough for now. I really want another dog. <laughs> I really want one. But I'm trying to stop myself. Be right back getting pictures for Discord. Okay. I mean it when people... When people use it as their stream thingy to get people to... Oh, you mean like, you mean like clickbait? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a good look. Friends and I balance our relationships by talking shit. Okay. I'm very good at the trash talk game. I'm the worst at trash talk. <laughs> I, I should never be trusted with trash talk. Ever. Like, it's never gonna work. Can't believe it's the last stream ever in the history of forever. Ever, Dinkle. Ever. Just pour one out for Vickle. It's the last one ever. All you people who just resubbed. <laughs> you resub for a single stream because I'm never, ever, ever coming back. No, I am. It's fine. We got a new game coming. Yeah, Majora's Mask. So Majora's Mask was the, uh, was the game that the Discord voted on. That was the winner. And that's what we're going to do. So, um, I'm, I'm planning on playing Majora's Mask on Monday. That's my plan. If we don't finish this game today, because sometimes I know I can get extra chatty, we will finish it over the weekend prior to Monday. Is Monday morning. I want to play Majora's Mask and I want it to be Monday because Monday is my day off. So I will have extra time to just explore and take it all in and I won't feel like I have to stop it at a certain time to go rush off to work like I will today. I just wanna take it all in at my own pace. So, Monday. Um, okay, we're gonna jump right in. It's been 45 minutes. It's been 38, thank you very much. <laughs> Cause I had to restart the stream. We're gonna uh, jump right in now. Yeah, absolutely. Here, let's move it over. There we go. Look, we made progress. <laughs> We've moved from one screen to another screen, Mishko. We're moving in the right direction. You have a dog, can we see? I have two dogs. Um, and yes, I can I can upload pictures. I know, um, I know Mishka has uploaded a couple pics before, but I can upload some too. That's totally doable. I have two dogs. My um, one dog, the the elder of the two, is a miniature Aussie and a, a giant asshole. <laughs> he's a miniature Aussie, but he's a huge asshole. I love him dearly, but he's kind of a jerk sometimes. But that comes with his miniature stature. He's got a bit of a Napoleon complex to go with it. The mic gets noticeably quieter. Interesting. I, I will adjust that dingle. I'll look at it later. Um, I'll definitely adjust before the next game. Thank you for mentioning it. <laughs> He's a miniature asshole. Yeah, he is. He really, really is. Good morning, Azri. Good morning, sleepyhead. Pet, you have heard of asshole breed of dog. You have. There are several. They're usually the small ones. Um, Pomeranians come to mind. Chihuahuas come to mind. Uh, you've heard of them. Trust me. <laughs> you've heard of them. Okay. I missed some comments. I'm sorry. Um, when no one's watching, it just means I'm wasting my time. When someone's interacting, it's so much easier. 
That's true. If no one is watching, I feel like what I'm doing isn't worth watching and I get hard on myself. That's true, but you got to be careful because um, those little like counters that pop up are never accurately on time. They're never accurately on time. So like you have to keep yourself talking and engaging even if there's no one there. Like obviously it's easier if there's someone there, but um, don't look at the number because as soon as you see the number one pop up, you'll start talking. But by the time that number pops up, they've already been there for a minute or two. So you just got to pretend that they're always there. <laughs> I know it. I know it sounds ridiculous. I drink a lot of caffeine. Um, I used to drink energy drinks when I started streaming because that's the only way to really keep me chatting all the time, constantly. So I just drank energy drinks and, and yammered to myself. And sometimes it worked. Sometimes. Um, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to skim real quick. I am reading, but I got to catch up so we can get this, so we can get this on, so we can get this done. I had pet rats. They all passed away. And now I have a big fluffy cat. Oh, aw. Five monster, welcome in. I'm sorry I didn't say hi earlier, but I, I saw you. I see you. Welcome. Happy Friday. Yeah, we're going to suffer a bit on Monday. Don't worry. I'm prepared for it. Um, I have played Ocarina of Time. We, we played Ocarina of Time on Twitch as a first full playthrough. It was... It was an experience because that was my favorite game when I was a kid, but I never got past the water temple when I was a child. So it was a really good experience for me. It was very, um, very satisfying. Ah, <laughs> gameplay time to leave. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you can. Like, I'm not stopping you, but, um, you're still audible. It's not super quiet, but it, okay. But it's noticeable from the previous scene. Okay, so I may just need to adjust the numbers just a tiny bit. Um, Asri, take your time. Wake up as you will. Hannah, good morning. Welcome in. Happy Friday. Wolf, thank you for the hydrate. Um, we're going to do this thing. Guys, I do not know <laughs> where we are. I know I found a save point. Um, I know we've got to be close to the end. But I do not know how close we are so fingers crossed but oh this room is new so but yeah i have two dogs sorry i got a little distracted there i do have two dogs the small one is a miniature um asshole <clears throat> he's an aussie so he's an asshole <laughs> he's a major asshole he's kind of a jerk um i do love him he's very sweet sometimes but other times um he's picked up some some poor habits in his old age so, I mean, he's not really old. He's, he's, uh, what, eight? He's getting there. But he's picked up some poor habits that I'm not enjoying. Um, he's definitely the defender of the house, though. That's the thing. Like, of the two dogs, he's the one that will defend the home. The other dog is a German Shepherd who should be the defender of the home. He sounds very scary, but he's the world's biggest baby. I love him dearly. He's so, so sweet. But he's a total coward <laughs> and runs from everything. Like, he acts all... He acts all tough, but he's really, really not. He will... He will sound really scary. But he'll sound really scary from behind a closed door. If that door opens, <laughs> he's running away. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're almost, almost getting there. We're almost getting there. Okay. This feels like a trap. What is this room? What is going on here? Why? Why? <laughs> I knew it! I was surrounded by assholes! <gasps> I, um, I tried to set that up as a sound at one point, Kanata, and I think I still might. I love Spaceballs. That's up there as one of my favorite movies. Okay, I don't really want to fight the small encounter dudes. I don't. 
I remember we were doing this before, too. Like, I don't want to fight you guys. I have places to be, other people to attack. I don't want to use up any items or potions or anything. I really just want to move on. Come on, guys. You're not what I'm here for. I've kind of got tunnel vision. I want to finish this. Gameplay starting is usually when I know to check the next bus arrival. <laughs> Uh, I do kind of function a little a little like that, don't I? Oh, fuck it. Let's just... Uh... Why is this room? I don't know. I don't know what the room is for. Hi, Fred. Good morning. Happy Friday. Oh, Meru down. All right. Fine. If I have to, I will. I don't want to use up all my items before we get to... Before we get to the boss fight. Oh no! Shit! Shit! <laughs> that was not intentional! Oh, come on! Okay. It's cool! It's good! I definitely meant to do that. Wow. Well, we're not using. You know what? <clears throat> We've only got 20 anyway. What can I do for 20? Is it worth it? Yeah, there we go. Let's just do that. <laughs> Let's just kill them and move on. Okay. Good luck with stream. Don't want to spoil stuff. I don't remember before I play through it. You got this. Yeah, it's totally fine, Hannah. Do what you gotta do. I mean, Hannah's probably already left, and I hope so. But, like, totally fine. Do what you gotta do. I'm so excited for Hannah to play through it, though. Gilbert is five, and he has some habits that drive me bonkers. Zeus has, um... Zeus has recently discovered trash cans. As I'm like, yeah, yeah. He gets into trash cans. Right there's a trash can right here, and I was checking on it, and he definitely got into it last night. Like, there's nothing in it, but I can tell he was trying. Um, for real? You guys survived that? I'm actually a little impressed. But Zeus has been, um, he's been getting into some bad habits more and more. Um, he's more the defender of the home than my big dog is, but he's kind of a jerk about it. <laughs> No, thank you, Hado. I'd rather not know. I really like to go in completely blind. But thank you for the offer. Thank you for asking first. I appreciate that. He's, uh... <laughs> I love Zeus dearly. But he's a little nightmare sometimes. He's great, but he just thinks he's so much more important than he is. He's got that little dog syndrome that thinks the whole world must revolve around him. And so I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Interesting. Okay. Hey! No! No! See, right now he's being a jerk because I've got one cable that's stretched across the room to plug into my system. And he's going out of his way to walk back and forth and back and forth over the cable because he knows that I don't like it, but also because uh, he has a special habit of pulling it out. Okay, wait, hang on. He's currently sleeping in- yeah, well, Kilo's very chill. He'll just relax. Um, I always drink coffee while I'm watching Radar. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, I'm so happy it's Friday, guys. Zeus! Go lay down. Thank you. <laughs> 
he is, I swear, he's going out of his way to make eye contact with me while he steps across this cable. <laughs> he just did it like eight times in a row. He's like, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing now. Do you see me doing this thing? Come here. Come here. Lay down. Down. All the way. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Gilbert is just a very, is just very playful and doesn't under, no, down. We're not doing this. Thank you. <laughs> and doesn't understand that bothering me while I'm working is not cool. He's very needy, so he bugs me all day and I <laughs> love my patience sometimes. Lose my patience. Okay. Um, yes, I understand. Zeus is not needy. I will say he's not needy. He's pretty self-sufficient. Um, the problem is because he's very smart, he gets very bored very quickly. Stop it. He gets very bored very quickly. Uh, 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 uh. Because he gets bored quickly, when he's bored, he finds things to do. Um, he's also very high energy. So I try to get him out and moving around and all that good stuff, but he just can't help himself. He's got to get up and move constantly. It's a little obnoxious. Okay. If you want to go blind, just take off your glass. I'm very blind. Can I? But there are doors over there that I need to get to. Is this going to be a problem? Can I, um... Is there a way that I can do this? Can I? What if I, like, skirt the outside? Oh, no. You fall. Okay. <laughs> what kind of perspective is this top-down, upside-down game? It's... <sighs> it's something. It sure is something. Okay. The, the thing that irritates me is we get into this room and like we're, we're in this little area right now, but I'm going to keep encountering things. That's what bugs me. The, the constant encounters that don't need to happen, <laughs> keep happening. Oh yeah. And we've got these, these dragon souls that you don't have to fight. I fought one of them by accident last time. Um, I really feel like the room that I needed was the one I was just in. Um, hmm. Gilbert needs my attention constantly, and he comes and takes it. Oh yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't wait for it. Yeah, that's that's the bigger dog. Um. Kilo is the big guy of the house. He's a total baby, but he's very needy all the time. I really think it's the room I was in. There's just some trick to it. He's a total baby, and he always needs attention. Always. <laughs> and he's perfectly happy to just lay by you. Like, he's perfectly fine with that. But if he's not getting attention all the time, he does get very irritable. <laughs> and he's very vocal about his irritation. He will let you know. But don't you want to fight them? Not really. No, I, I don't really want to. Is this... Can I just wait? Do these stop? Or do they just continuously keep going? I feel like there's some trick here that I don't know. Alright. Uh, gotta start making my way to the bus. Have a good stream. And good luck finishing Dragoon. I'm looking forward to Majora's Mask Wolf. Have a lovely Friday. I hope you have a great bus ride. I'm looking forward to Dragoon too. Or um, Majora's Mask. This game... While I love it, I'm ready to start something new because I've been playing it for so long now. Is there some break in this that I can... No. You just fall. Okay. There's something I'm missing. Devs behind this game. What if we took acid and speed at the same time? Is there nowhere else to go in this room? No. Okay. Hey Hado, please don't tell me anything. I know I've I know I've cautioned you about this before. Please don't tell me anything. You're backseating and I don't appreciate it. I really, really want you to let me figure it out myself. Cause now it's not a surprise anymore.
Okay. Assuming that was legitimate back seating, I guess we'll do this. Have you considered flying? This game lets you fly. Uh, it lets you fly in battle in certain moments. But not, not at will, <laughs> Fob Monster. You can't summon the wings. I wish you could. Well, that's kind of disappointing, but we'll we'll do what we can with it. This is one of those games where I can't nudge because I never got this far. Kanata, that's my biggest concern about starting Majora's Mask because Majora's Mask is so popular. So many people have played it. I know someone is going to ruin it for me, <laughs> and I'm really concerned about that. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it really, really obvious that I do not want help. And some people just can't stop themselves, even though they've been told again and again and again, they just can't. And I really, I really hate that <laughs> because you can say it all day long until you're hoarse, but sometimes people just ignore what you want in favor of what they want, which is just kind of rude. Because <laughs> I remember enjoying games when I was younger and you enjoy it because you get to discover it for yourself and you get to, you know, you, you get that feeling of satisfaction. And it's such a bummer when people take that away from you for their own satisfaction. It's really a bummer, but it happens. And it's inescapable. So I'm hoping that because it's inescapable, I'm hoping that when Majora's Mask comes around, people can respect that uh, request. And I'm hoping that when they do spoil things, because it's gonna happen, I'm hoping that they're, they're small things. They're not like huge revelations in the game. Okay. The good news is with that, with that random encounter, we're able to at least get our health back up. So there's that at least. Okay. Oh shit! I got too close! <laughs> we need a few people to moderate chat for you. Yeah, I, I've actually been thinking about that recently. Uh, Mishka does an amazing job of moderating. Like, Mishka's always here helping me and does so much for me, but I really do think it's gotten to the point where I probably need another moderator or two. Um, <laughs> Rywick, good morning. Happy Friday, my friend. Thank you for the posture check. I appreciate it, because I absolutely was slouching. Mishka, yeah, Mishka is so great, but it's Mishka's just one person. And Mishka um, is very much like me as far as ADHD and uh, multitasking. <laughs> so like Mishka likes to game while I'm gaming, which is perfectly understandable. But I, I think I might need another, another person or two to help me out. And it's so hard for me to choose moderators because I know it's, this is kind of my baby, you know? Like I want it to go well and I want I want my mods to know what I want, and that's hard. That's hard sometimes. So I'm... Um, let's... Oh, shit. Wrong one. This room is gonna be obnoxious, guys. I wonder how much of this stream it'll take. <laughs> I mean, Mishka, you know we love you. You're great. You're fantastic. But, um, but Kanata, you're right. I think I'm gonna need <laughs> totally slouching. Yeah. Yeah, I know I was slouching quite a bit. Um, normally she's behind and I have time to remove things. I was trying to catch up before we started. But yeah, Mishka is very good at staying on top of things and <laughs> And making sure that um, if someone does say something that they shouldn't, Mishka usually can get rid of it before it, I see it. Not all the time, but sometimes. Glower, welcome in. Ah, no! 
I already hate this room. <laughs> I hate this room so much. Okay. I should volunteer to be mod, and then I could refund all my plaster check. Oh, shit. That's what I forgot to do, unless Mishka did it. I knew there was something that I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to refund. <laughs> I got a refund a shiz ton of points to Pumpkin from the last stream because she, uh, she funded someone else's guide the raid. Like she wanted to let someone else guide the raid. And um, I was gonna do it, but they have their settings set up so that outside people couldn't raid them. And I was like, well, okay, there goes all the points that Pumpkin just, <laughs> thank you Mishka. I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta make sure that I do it. And then I, I had to go to work and then I forgot. I forgot by the time I got home. But uh, I owe Pumpkin thousands of points, so I want to make sure I do that. Because it, it's not like it's 20 points, it's significant. Alright, where is it? Um. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? I need something close to me. I don't know if these fade or not. I need a red one. I see a bunch of them out there. I need one over here near me. That's not red. That's red. Okay, this one's red. The trick is some of them hit and they're not red. Man, if I were colorblind, I'd be pissed. Cause there's no way I'd be able to do this. This is weird. Okay. There you are. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those, um, those buildings with the glass floors. I don't have any problems with heights, but that would probably unnerve me quite a bit. Okay. All right, making progress. Magic Ego Bell. I don't know what that is. No refunds, no substitutions. Uh, yeah, Mishka, take your time. Like, I, I don't even know how to do it. I mean, I, I know I've done it before, but it's been such a long time. We've talked about this a few times. I feel it's acceptable to tell a streamer about a secret or a way to do something after they've done it themselves at least once. That way you don't ruin that first feeling of satisfaction. Yeah, I just want I just want the freedom to discover it for myself so that I so that I feel like I did something. Okay, uh nope, wrong one. Let's see here. I don't think that's really going to help me at all. What does it do? Avoid, avoids bewitchment. I don't think that's really something I want. But in all seriousness, we can talk about it later. I spent all my time here anyway. If that's what you want, I've lent a hand countless times before. Yeah, I mean, that's the trick, really. The trick is having someone who who can be a mod, who's comfortable being a mod, um, but who also, like, I, I want to make sure that my stream is their commitment. I know that sounds weird, but, like, if, if someone is another streamer, I don't want to be pulling from their stream either. So, um, I've had a couple streamers offer before. I've been like, you know, that's really nice of you, but you've got your own things you have to worry about, and I don't want to pull from your own experience either. So, what is this? Undead? Are those flowers? No. It's either flowers or a dead fish. Are they fish slapping me? What is that? Yes. Go. I can't look at it because I have to hit the commands. I didn't hit that one because I was too busy trying to figure out what it is they have. Uh, ah yes, the magical bell that boosts your ego. I would like one of those in real life, please. You just ring the bell. What is that? Is that a head? Are they holding a head by the... I think they are. 
Oh, that's not gruesome at all. Where did they get the head? It's not their head. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it is! Did you guys know Spongebob killed Dumbledore? I did not know that. And Dinkle, how could you spoil that for me? I want to know that story. That's the story I want to hear. It's a head. Where did these guys get three identical heads from? <laughs> but where, do, where, did they murder triplets or something? Are these their heads and then they grew a skeleton head? Are they the triplets? <laughs> I have so many questions. Okay. I would never ever ask for anything, but if you need help with your stream, whether it be moderators or technical support, I'm always available and I'm on Discord. Kanata, thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm always at my desk this time of day because of work. <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, I will consider that. Yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about it. It, it might be time. I honestly never thought it would be something I had to consider, but it, it might be that time to start thinking about it. I've actually been thinking it might be good because um, I have I have a full-time job and so what I do is I stream and then I typically end up going to work and so sometimes the the discord can really pop off and start doing its thing and I can't check it so occasionally I'll like check my discord and I'll see a meme and I'm like ha huh, that was a really good meme and then there's a little voice that's in my head that's like but it could have been a really bad meme <laughs> and if it were a really bad meme you would not have found out on, for like hours later so a part of me thinks that um I should have someone who like their sole job is to moderate the discord not the actual stream but the discord would that would be very helpful too. So if I can find someone. Okay, very careful. Baby steps. Baby step start. Okay. Big up. <laughs> I just read your oh my god oh I love it okay <laughs> of course of course that makes so much sense why didn't I think of that I'm also not a fan of that if someone goes oh yeah I deserve xyz rule right now it's like yuck usually I don't bring anything up unless I ask first or it's obvious that some change is needed yeah I feel like I, I think it is needed. Ooh. Don't come here. Black monster. Finally, you are dead. Oh man, these souls are pissed. Like me. Like me. Like us. Oh, these are all the souls that Rose took. Oh. Hate me if you want. But I cannot die now. Oh, Please wait until everything is over. I'm actually, like, I, I've been thinking through what I think the end of this game will be. I think Rose is going to die at the end. And I think she's like, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm guessing I have this weird feeling that Rose is gonna like go out in a blaze of glory and take Zieg out with her. Like, I think it's gonna be something like that. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen, but but I think Rose 
wants to die. Like, she's been around for so long now. She's been on this very hard road for a very long time. I think she's gonna do something like that. Um, historically, I can definitely tell you that finding separate people for each individual thing isn't necessary, at least not at this level. It doesn't take nearly the amount of effort you think it does. This is coming from a person who used to babysit an idiot with a 2,000 viewer page. Really, Dinkle? How long ago was that? Because that, that sounds like a lot of work. I bet this game ends with credits. <laughs> Get it out! Pod monster! Thank you for being here. <laughs> I hope it ends with credits, because let me just say, this has been a long road, and I deserve some credits. Come on, there we go. Okay. Where are you at? I'm going very slowly, because if I fall, and I have to go back to the very beginning, I'm gonna be very cranky. <laughs> They're tricksy. They are. Which dev came up with this room? Okay. Where is it? Can I just go? Oh no! I thought I could just go straight to the platform. Okay. Like I said, we're going back. <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Sorry, spoiler. No, Fob Monster. You keep those spoilers to yourself. <laughs> All right. Now that we know. Rip, game ruined. Credits would be epic. That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for some credits. That's all I want. Is there another way or do I have to go all the way around? Probably have to go all the way around. Yeah, everything else is not red. Come on, where are you? This one. And then this one. This one. Oh, this is so slow. I gotta be careful not to get impatient because I wanna just rush it. And I know that if I do that, I'm just gonna have to start all over again. Patience is key. You can do this, Fickle. Patience. There we go. This one. Is that a red or is that... My little red icon is in the way. There we go. Okay. Go straight through. Aw. Oh. As long as Shanene falls into an active volcano, I'm fine. I don't think that's what they're gonna do. I think they're gonna make Shanene and Dart go live happily ever after, which I don't agree with because I don't think that romance is something I'm here for, but I think that's what they're gonna wanna do, honestly. Ooh, Albert down. See, I'm losing all my health in these tiny encounters that we don't need to be in. And then I know we're gonna get to a boss fight and I'm not gonna have anything left. That was around 2015. I only help people with like five to 30 regulars now. Well, I mean, that's fair, but eventually we're gonna have more regulars here. I think, like that's the hope. That's that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm hoping that when we start playing Majora's Mask because it's better known, like that's the flip side of running the danger of getting things spoiled uh, or, or backseating, like, it, because it's such a popular game, we're gonna have more people here. I think. That's the theory, anyway. This one was kind of nice, because I was expecting all of my numbers to drop off because it's a little more niche, but there are some hardcore lovers of this game. 
I remember telling Mishka, I was like, I want to play this game and I'm going to play this game, but I'm fully expecting all of my numbers to drop off completely. <laughs> and they didn't. I was really pleasantly surprised how many people still love this game. I want to actually enjoy my time here and like actually talk to people I enjoy having around. Dinkle, that's the goal for me too. Explore looks easy and impossible at the same time. It's just obnoxious. All right. I hate using these, but kind of have to use something. The same dev that put the DMV in a video game. I actually kind of love that touch. It was obnoxious in the moment, but I thought it was really clever. It's like, no, 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 you wait in line like everyone else. <laughs> I kind of love that. Midgar Freak, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to play with you guys. We just want to move on our way. Ugh. Come on. I got bigger, better things to do than fight with you guys. See, this is where all of my all of my health is going. Okay. Spoiler, this game exists. Thank you. I appreciate that. Do you want credits or credit for beating the game? Uh, both, Kanata. I want both. <laughs> I live for that credit screen at the end of a game because I see it so infrequently. It's very rare for me. So I really, really want to see it. Oh, come on. I just want to get out of here. When Fickle finishes the game, we're going to have to hire a mariachi band to serenade her. <laughs> Dingle, that would be magical. Actually, um... Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Fine. You win. I get it. Oh, come on. I get it. Okay. Message received. We'll do it your way. Wait, so, um... Mishka and I were talking about what we were gonna do for Majora's Mask. I think it would be a good idea to have... God damn. I think it would be a good idea to have some kind of... We need a safe word for when I'm not just asking rhetorically or um, I, I actually want to know. Um, rhetorically was not the right word for that. But, you know, when I'm... When I'm asking questions that I don't actually want the answer to, the term is completely slipping my mind right now, but um, we need some kind of safe word in place for when I actually want an answer to a question. And um, <laughs> we also need some kind of notification when I'm not paying attention to the clock, because there is a clock in this game, I remember. And... Um, I will definitely start chatting and lose track of time, and that's not good. So we're going to need something. Is it rhetorical? Am I just... Am I... It's, it's early. I'm just gonna drink my coffee. Okay. Dinkle, if you say so, I trust you. Alright. Um, let's do this. I don't want to use all my shit in here, but okay. Hopefully there's an item shop somewhere in this crazy place. Hopefully. My point is quality, not quantity. The 2015 guy had quantity and they were all sharing the same brain cell. Now, see, you guys are much better than that. Y'all have more than one brain cell between you. And and you're also very kind and understanding with one another. It's it's all good. I think we've got a different vibe here. I really appreciate I know yesterday in Discord, I didn't get a chance to say something to Fred, but 
Um, but I really appreciate how you guys were all handling some difficult conversations in a very mature and kind way. And that meant a lot to me that you guys were, um, were able to have a difficult conversation and did it in a way that, you know, protected other people in case they weren't ready to hear that conversation. It was, it was all around very heartwarming. Yes. There we go. I'm an avid Majora's Mask watcher. Prepare for so many spoilers. Fob Monster, you're the best. I love having you here, but you better be careful. <laughs> be careful with those spoilers. Say them in your head, because I'm not playing around with that game. I mean, I am, because, you know, it's a game, but... Oh my god, this game is still going. Neat, it's still going. We are close, but um, we're definitely going to finish it this weekend. I'm just so ready to pick yes. a, a different yes. game, <laughs> to play a different game. Anything, really. I'm just ready to play a different game. It's not... I, I enjoy this game, like, don't get me wrong. I still enjoy this game. I'm just ready for some a change of pace, you know? After a certain point, there's only so much you can play one game before you're like, all right, I need variety. <laughs> yeah, it's the constant random encounters that, that are kind of bumming me out a little bit because at this point in the game, I don't want to play random encounters anymore. I want to get on with the final boss battle. I'm ready for that. I love Legend of Dragoon. Oh, Midgar, I'm so happy that you enjoy it. This game, I I played it when I was a kid and I never finished it. We got about halfway through. I say we. At the time, it was just me. <laughs> the royal we. We got about halfway through. There we go. And, um... I lost my save data and I had to start over and I didn't want to start over because it's a long game. I was very disheartened. I'm almost done with it now and I cannot wait to be, to finally reach the end, to see what happens. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Okay. That being said, this room <laughs> a little bit of a bummer. It's kind of a cool design, but dear god, it takes a while. Okay. Is there one to my left? No. That's not it. Okay. Sorry guys, give me just a sec. I just want to make sure we get across this thing. If I were colorblind, this would really suck, because reds and greens... <laughs> okay, so there's one to my left. Alright, I think it's this one, and this one. And that one. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> there we go. We're moving forward. I could use pineapple or peaches as my safe word. Both of those are good options. I kind of don't want to use pineapple because I feel like everyone uses pineapple, right? That's like the one that everyone seems to use. Peaches would be fun. Peaches would be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, Neat, do your work and lurk, totally got you. Um, it, also, Neat, I know you're playing the, through this game yourself. If you're worried about spoilers, you might not enjoy being here today because we're we're at the end of disc four, we're very close. So I don't want you to like, I don't want you to accidentally get spoiled because I know I'm gonna be saying some things that are very spoilery. <sighs> There's something over there. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Who's that? No way. Oh! Guys! It's Lavitz! Oh, Lavitz! I like.
liked Lavitz. He was so sweet. He died before his time. Oh. Guys. Oh, your majesty, Albert, I have the honor of seeing your face again. Oh, and Dart, while we've been apart, you have become strong. Dart and Lavitz had the best bromance ever. Oh, guys. This is making me so happy. Okay, let me back it up a little bit. Um, someone just decided this is the perfect place for a corner shop. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping, Kyle, uh, if we take our two collective brain cells and rub them together, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, exactly. Cause a little bit of brain cell friction and it'll just take off. I've been playing the same game for 18 years. I feel attacked. Mishka, which one have you been playing for 18 years? Wait, I mean, there's a bunch of them that you could be playing for that long. Which one were you thinking of? Trust me, it's normal. Love Legend of Dragon, but after you beat it, you don't want to know it exists for a few years. Midgar, I really appreciate that you understand that. Because I always, I always temper what I'm saying. Like, every time I say something to the effect of, like, these encounters really suck. Or, man, this disc is not my favorite. I, I always feel like I have to add something like, but I still love this game so that people don't <laughs> hate me. Since you left us, we've encountered many enemies. No shit. So many enemies. That's why there are so many souls that know you. <laughs> yeah, we're very popular. Because we sent a lot of the souls here. Souls that are attracted here remain with a variety of thoughts that's why they're attracted by the gate of hell negative thoughts like attachments are the favorites of the devils from hell <laughs> damn and those devils are driving mayfill aren't they rose there are many souls who know you yes there are countless <laughs> you murderer oh man welcome back azri pineapple on pizza no Pineapple on pizza is, is not okay in my book. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not. Um, pineapple on pizza is a crime against humanity. Mishka's not, also not okay with pineapples on pizza. <laughs> well, throw me in prison then. <laughs> Pet's like, all right, you should know. I love Lavitz. Tell me, why have you appeared in front of us? Maybe. Are you helping us out? <laughs> Why is Albert so surprised? Oh no! No, Lavitz, please don't leave us! Don't come near me. Please don't leave us! Oh, shit. Oh no. Get out of here. Lavitz! He was talking about the devils. I wonder if one of them is playing with the soul of Lavitz. Oh no. I cannot think of anything other than that. Unforgivable! It's unforgivable! Okay. I did see a save point. We're gonna... Damn it! <laughs> I want the save point! So many encounters, guys! I love that they brought him back for the finale. It's, it's perfect. I love it. I just want to get to the save point and maybe hit the corner store. I'm hoping there's a corner shop somewhere with some items that I desperately need. I don't think this is the final place. I don't think my final battle is going to be here in Mayfill. I think we have to get through Mayfill and go somewhere else. I'm guessing most of these games like to like take you back to the beginning again. I'm guessing that they're going to want to take us somewhere where we started the game in the first place. Like maybe Seelys, <laughs> that might happen. <laughs> go all the way back to Dart. Uh, we, maybe we'll go back to Neat, um, Dart's hometown where, where his adventure started. Oh, whoops. Are we going to meet Dart's mother here? That'd be cool. 
That'd be really cool. <laughs> I hope my mother took my death okay. Dart's like, I don't know. We didn't even go tell her. We didn't even go visit her. Who knows? <laughs> this is going to be like our sick grandmother in uh, Wind Waker all over again. Like she was sick for most of the game before we remembered we were supposed to go take care of her. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's... Whoops. Wow, the game that's been around 18 years. I mean, Mishka, you could have meant a bunch of games. Like, I mean, I've been I've been playing Ocarina of Time for so long. There are a bunch of things that we grew up with that we could still be playing 18 years later. Okay. Uh, do I want to use another item? I. I'm out of items, guys. <laughs> I'm using them up left and right. Unfollow, unsubscribe, unexist, pineapple on pizza rocks. Ouch, Kyle. All right. If you stand by it, I I support you. I can't join you in this choice, but I support you. <laughs> no, not Graham Grams. I, I, uh... Speaking of shorts, I made a short with Graham Graham and that was my first one that like took off and instantly my brain just went, oh, I guess YouTube likes video game grandmas now? Like, <laughs> apparently, apparently grannies are fine. I don't know. But um, yeah, poor Graham Grahams. <laughs> Do you play Final Fantasy as well? Midgar, that's a great question. Um, I have never played a Final Fantasy game before. Think of me as a blank slate. That's what I've started telling people. Most of the games that you're gonna ask about, I've never played. <laughs> poor, poor Hashel. Look at how much we've ignored him in this game. <laughs> poor Hashel. Uh, damn, his hex hammer does great damage though. It's too bad we haven't done anything with Hashel. Um, that being said, that being said, Midgar, so many people have asked me about Final Fantasy, and I've asked so many people, which one do you think I should start with? And as a result, I recently bought Final Fantasy VII. Um, the original, not the remaster. So, I have one. It is on our list of games, um, on my channel page, so in my, like, about section, there's a list of games that we've played through already, as well as games that, uh, that we are going to play in the future. And seven is now on there. Okay, let's go ahead and save. We need to back this shit up. <laughs> Just back it up. All right. I'm so glad. I'm so glad Lavitz is back. Even temporarily. I'm just so happy. Um, I'm gonna back it up twice. We've got two different save points going on here because I'm really scared that we're gonna lose something and get, have to start all over again and I just can't do it. So we've got two separate save points going on. All right, um, where are we at? Yeah, we got time. Are we gonna have to fight Lavitz? Lavitz, why did you run away from us? Yeah. Who are you bastards? Oh no, not Lavitz! No, we can't kill Lavitz again! No, I mean, we didn't kill him the first time, but, well... He kind of killed himself. He went into, like, a frenzy and rushed someone that he shouldn't have. And... Oh no, don't you recognize us? Majesty, Albert... Ah! <laughs> oh no! Lavitz! Fight it! Fight it, sweetie! Look at the back of Lavitz. Something on his back. There's something attached to him. It seems that is affecting the soul. Ew! Get that thing off of him! Get that thing off his back! It smells of deviledom! Mmm! Love the smell of deviledom in the morning. <laughs> wow. 
wait, 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 wait. Uh, we've been trying to talk her into playing one. Yeah, it's it's been a work in progress. They've been trying really hard. I've got one. It'll it'll show up on the rotation. Uh, but the next game is going to be Majora's Mask. The Discord already voted. Uh, it was close for a little bit there, but Majora's Mask definitely won. So that's the next one we're going to be playing. And we're I'm determined to play it on Monday. So this will be finished by the weekend. Um, I think the one... I think the one she liked the most is 10. So I was going to say before connection cut out, you definitely invite the kind of energy you have. And if you show people that harassment and disrespect are fine, that's how you get a huge channel of bigots. That said, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Yes, Dinkle, I agree with you. I think it's important to set boundaries and keep them. And uh, there have been times where we've had people come in and uh, step over those boundaries and I've warned them and they've done it again. And I've been like, okay, I'm really sorry, but I have to get rid of you. And it's like, it's nothing personal, but... I have to keep those boundaries because that tells the rest of the group here that we're going to respect those boundaries. So I think it's important that that you set that example. Um, I don't, I haven't done it very frequently, but there have been a couple times where someone's come in and they've persistently spoiled or backseated to the point where I was like, you know what, I've given you enough mornings, I can't do this anymore. And I've had to get rid of people like that. And that's not my... It's never something I want to do, but it's happened once or twice. And then there've been a couple people that I've, I've told them again and again, like, please don't do this, please don't do this. And they left on their own because they were grumpy. <laughs> that happens too. Uh, you killed Lovitz the first time? No, I didn't. He did it to himself, really. I mean, <laughs> he made a poor decision. Lovitz was a little hot headed and he jumped in too quickly and he really should have thought before he acted, but that's on him. <laughs> what do you mean again? Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. We, we, we're just not. Like, you don't wanna know. Is Shanene coming back too? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. I don't want Shanene back. Looked like Lavitz was dancing for a sec. He was. He had some ants in his pants, it's fine. They smell like deviledom. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was gonna be a fight. You could start with seven. It's usually everyone's first choice. Personally, me, I'd start with seven, eight, nine, or ten. So, Midgard, most people said that. Most people agreed with you. They said, um, oh, Lavitz, buddy. You're not looking so hot. I'm really glad I healed before we came into this. What is that thing on him? What is that? Wait, no, go back. Let's, let's see. What is that? Okay, buddy. Um... I'm not sure if we're supposed to be attacking him or if we gotta wait until he like turns around to get the thing on his back. I'm gonna wait for a second there. Ew, Lavitz got crabs! <laughs> Ew! But yeah, Midgar, you're absolutely right. That sequence that you named is, uh, is the sequence that most people name. Majora's Mask will be interesting. I am I am scared, but excited at the same time. It's a combination thing. <laughs> I touched it when I was a child, like I played it a little bit, and then I I realized there was a time element to it, and I don't like those games typically, so I chose to I chose to not play it. So I barely touched that game as a child. So it's gonna be completely new to me. Okay, let's try and talk to him. It's me, Dart, don't you recognize my face? Love it, sweetie. Oh, I'm so glad they brought him back. Ew. Okay, now let's attack him. Lavit's spirit? No. Can we not attack Lavit's spirit? There's not another option? Okay. Maybe we can cut this thing off his back. Oh, or not. Helps if we hit the right. Okay. Is this helping at all? This doesn't feel very helpful. Ow! We're not getting any of them. Ooh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I knew it was gonna fuck with my head. I just knew it. And confuse all three of us. This is not good. Oh, no. Are we gonna die like this? Ah! Wait. We're just gonna kill ourselves like this? 
Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Guys! Okay, okay, talk to him. Please, it's me, Lavitz. Who am I? Oh, poor guy. This poor guy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Damn. Okay. Um. Well, actually, it is personal. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited for Majora's Mask. There's a person on your camera, little waspy wasp. <laughs> I mean, it probably looked like a huge invader. Can't believe I've spoiled and backseated literally every stream so far. <laughs> Get off my stream lawn. It's gotten to the point where I'll be working and I hear a voice from stream going, Kanata, what do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna set up some kind of safe word command or something for Majora's Mask so that when I'm, when I'm really desperate and I'm no longer asking rhetorical questions, um, I can be like, guys, help me out here. Get me out of this. What do I do? I don't have items. I don't even have a mind purifier for this thing. So... I don't really want to change into a dragoon. That feels too risky. Because when you're a dragoon, you have to attack, and I can't hold back my attacks for Lavitz if he's facing the wrong way. So we're just going to have to do this manually. <laughs> I probably should be guarding, honestly, because the other two are still confused. They're going to be attacking me. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's when it's time to spoil. <laughs> this is like Jill in Resident Evil 5. I don't know what that means, but I trust you. Um, he's ugly. Let's kill him. Damn, Kyle. <laughs> That's harsh. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. I say, guys, come on, fickle. Oh, Lavitz. Lavitz, buddy. Okay, guard. I need him to turn around again. There we go. Okay. Everyone has rights except for ugly people. <laughs> guys, I, I hope I never have a bad hair day around you because from the sounds of it, that would... <laughs> be bad for my health. Okay, come on. Turn around, buddy. Have you forgotten our journey? I don't want to fight you. Wake up, Lavitz! Man, Lavitz is still ripped. Even as a spirit, he's ripped. Okay. while talking with Lavitz's mother, and then later we beat up his spirit, right? Later we're gonna go back and we're gonna be like, and then we saw him in the afterlife and we had to kick his ass then too. <laughs> oh, he's probably gonna have something sweet to say about his mother too. Like that just seems like the kind of, the kind of soul that Lavitz had. He's probably gonna say something heart-wrenching. Oh. Come on, Mar Come on, Mario. We just need to hit some of these today. Come on. Man, not doing great. I grew up on Final Fantasy, Zelda, and Resident Evil. I have the fondest memories as a kid in the 90s, early 2000s playing those. Me too, Midgar. Not, um, not Final Fantasy or Resident Evil, but I played a heck of a lot of Zelda when I was small. Zelda is my favorite video game franchise. There we go. Um, I also, I recently played Wind Waker for the first time on stream, and I legitimately cried on the stream at the final scene. It was so sweet. I felt so satisfied. I was so happy to play that game. It was lovely. 
Okay. Just gotta guard until we can get him to turn back around. At least I'm getting my health back this way. <laughs> Fight's gonna take a little bit, but at least we're getting there. I grew up on Mario and Doom. Figgles, help me, word will be potato. It could be potato. That'd be fun. I am possessed by Menon. Destroy me. Forget about Lavitz. We could, but I don't have the heart to do it. Oops. I used to be so good at that one. Madness Hero has not been good for me recently. I was doing really well with that one. I don't know what's happened there. Lavitz has the worst hangover. Oh, is that what this is? <laughs> we'll set it with the Lord of the Rings audio. Fickle needs to light the- Oh, Light the fires of Gondor to call for aid. That's not a bad idea. That could be fun. Yes. Come on. I kind of- I, I want to use my dragoons, but I feel like it's just not a good idea here. Because he's not going to stay turned around. And then I'm going to have to attack his face, and that will not be good for anyone. Because Slavitz has a pretty face. Pickle is kind of like my dad. I don't know if I want to know that. Things would go wrong, and he'd yell, Why did you guys have to fuck it up? And we're like, but you're the one fucking it up, actually. Yeah. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> like, how could you? But I'm the one who's supposed to be pushing all the buttons. It reminds me of when I was a kid, and I would have a controller, and I think that I was the hottest shit, and I was just doing so, so well. And mine wasn't even plugged in, and it was someone else playing, and I was just watching. <laughs> But I think I was so good at the game. It reminds me of that. Twilight Princess is my fave. So badass. Kyle, we had Twilight Princess as one of the options for the next game. And uh, it Majora's Mask beat it this time around. So it's going to have to come back on a different vote. And we'll try it again. I did offer it as an option. But you're not the only one who was like, Twilight Princess is my favorite. You're not alone. Destroy me, Mommy Rose. I love Rose. I do. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Yep, that's that's the right way. I feel like you've been saying this the entire game. It's never the right time for Dragoon. No, sometimes it's a great time for Dragoon. It's just I know there's going to be another fight after this one that I'm going to have to use it for. The problem with Dragoon is you don't have a ton of control once you're in that mode. You have two options, just a, a regular attack or a magic attack, but there's no stand down option. You have to attack and you can't use any items when you're in Dragoon mode. You should have a who wants to be a millionaire thing and oh, like a phone a friend. Okay. Yes. Go. <laughs> okay, who voted fight me now? Uh um for their own well-being, I will not be outing those people. <laughs> ah. Uh but I will say there were a significant number. <laughs> Jeez, what would Shanene say if she saw you beating up your best friend Lavitz? You know what? Um, she's got a lot on her plate right now. I don't think she'd say much of anything. She'd be like, oh, that's nice. I'm a little busy being kidnapped and destroying the world. <laughs> ah! 
See, this is what happens. You give people one strong female character and suddenly ever... How does... Wait, I don't understand. Dinkle, I don't understand that comment. I don't think that's how that works either. <laughs> that's not how human sexuality works. There we go. Finally. Finally. Yeah, best friends fight sometimes. It's it's okay. It's totally normal. This is totally normal. Sometimes best friends fight. Sometimes best friends try to cut weird eyeball creatures from the underworld off of their friend's back. Totally normal. Happens all the time. I did it just last week. Totally normal. All right. We're just going to wait a minute while we beat ourselves up. Ouch! <laughs> Leave! Stop it! Stop hurting each other! This is not what friends do! Aww. There we go. Meru's always the first to shake it off. I don't know why. Maybe she listens to a lot of Taylor Swift? but she's always the first one to snap out of it. Okay. Don't blame me, I voted for Kodos. I... Kodos. Nope, I got nothing. Whoa! I looked away for just a second. Oh, it's a Simpsons rap. Okay. What a show. It was so moving a reunion that I'm totally choked with tears. I don't believe you. Who are you? Oh, excuse me. My name is Zachwell. I'm a resident of the darkness. Zachwell. That's an interesting name. You've taken over Lavitz. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. We're not mincing any words. Are those eyes on his legs? Interesting. Okay. As long as Dart agreed to be her boyfriend, she'd probably forgive him. It's true. Shanene would would forgive anything as long as Dart agreed to be her boyfriend. No, no, that's exact. I don't think that's how that, that goes. The man insisted he was so worried about you that he couldn't bear dying. I thought it was a little presuming, but I granted him momentary life. You, Lavitz was my friend. How dare you? You will never get away with this. Oh, can you defeat me? Okay. So now we can use our dragoon. Now we can do this. Unless he just... Whoa! Unless he explodes his tummy at us? What was that supposed to do? Was that supposed to achieve anything? Uh, okay. Um. Let's do... Oh man, this is gonna suck. If I have no, um... If I don't have an item shop later, this is gonna really suck. But we're gonna do it. Okay. Ah! Ah! What was that? Whoa! Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, man! Damn! Oh. Damn! Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, wow! That's a hurt! Alright. Zachwell hits hard! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was. Wow. Back we go! It's a good thing there was a save point right before all of that.
And we're prepping for a day one raid in Destiny today, and I'm kind of stressed out because it's not mechanically hard at all, but it's full of exploding shit and really overturned enemies. You got this, Inkle. All you can do is plan for it. All you can do is prep. Imagine being a demon called Zack. Is the main story director like nine years old? Zack Well. The Well is carrying a lot of... Okay, hang on. I still think Meru's a good choice. Because if we can make it through an initial attack like that, she's going to have major health. But let's, uh, let's, we lost a step when we needed to use items. So let's just do it now. We're going to completely recover darts MP. That was rough. That was rough. And now we can do this, unless he explodes his tummy at us. <laughs> well, nothing happened. It didn't do anything. I was like, what is this useless attack? And then he killed us all in one hit. <laughs> so uh, not as useless as I was thinking he was. That's fine, too. Um, I really need I need a shop somewhere. OK, but we've recovered MP, so that's something. Oh, wait. Does, does um, Albert need it too? No, Albert's got 40. He's fine. Okay. Let's go back. Getting, at least we weren't, we weren't sent far back. We, we had a save point right before Lavitz. It didn't take super long to get that thing off of Lavitz. Now I can actually see that transformation because I looked away for a second and there was a completely different monster in front of me. Now I can actually see what see what um, Zach Well looks like. So we have um, we have someone <laughs> we have someone in the community who comes by sometimes who's a streamer themselves named Zacking Ball, and then we have someone else from the community named Maxwell, <laughs> and I keep wanting to call it one of them. Where's a good Tesco when you need it, Kyle? You're British. Aren't ya? I know what a Tesco is. I've been to Tesco. Okay. Let's have a little chat. Now that we've done this, Lavitz is still ripped. I'm impressed. Even in the afterlife, he manages to keep his abs. That's that's commitment. See, we need to save the dragoon for when Zackwell comes out. Maybe we can hit our uh <laughs> don't out I did not out you. You outed yourself. <laughs> maybe we can hit our additions a little bit better this time around. Eh? Huh? Maybe? Eh? Maybe? Maybe not. <laughs> Lavit's absolutely 100% juicing in the afterlife, too. What do you mean, too? Think he was juicing before? You know what? He had a lot of pressure riding on him. He probably was. <sighs> okay. We got this. He was clearly on roids before death. <laughs> he had a lot of pressure. Yep. Oops. <laughs> he had a lot of pressure. He was providing for his mother. He was like raiding prisons regularly. He was in the middle of a war. He had a bromance going with Dart that he had to keep going. There was a lot of pressure on him. Nope, 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 guard. I mean, it's just like the devs of this game, Acid and Speed apparently <laughs> are a mix. I mean, maybe he just has a really good workout regimen. You know, it's all in the protein. He's got a good protein powder. If I were sponsored by someone right now, I would be like, 
This is what Lavitz uses. You should too. And then you add some more protein powder. That being said, I should never, ever be sponsored by a workout item of any kind. <laughs> okay. Stardew Summer, nice. What is it about summertime that makes us so happy? The firefly lit nights, the intoxicating aroma of a charcoal briquette, the hypnotic sound of a lawnmower running over a flip flop. <laughs> I hate summer. <laughs> But we love the Spongebob quotes. Wait, Kyle, if you hate summer, what's your favorite season? I'm an autumn girl. I... But, but there's like... There's like a three week period of time here where autumn is really nice and then it turns disgusting. So I live for that three week period. Like, it's really short, where it's still sunny, but it's cooled down, but it's nice out. And then it turns to, like, drizzle, and it just, the sky sneezes on you every day, all day. It's terrible. So there's a really small window. Hear me out. Just go out and berate it publicly so the next time it'll just skip from spring to fall right away. That's kind of what happened here with spring. It went straight from winter to summer. There was really no transition. <laughs> Body, you got this you got this leech on your back. Let's just <laughs> get rid of that. I feel so bad for him. Shag, good morning. Shag, look, it's Lavitz. He's back. He's back with a leech on his back or some shit. Okay, we're just gonna guard here. I know! I was so excited to see him! And now he's attacking us because um, some evil creature named Zachwell is controlling him. So now you're all caught up <laughs> on the day's adventures. Mm, yes, Summer, I too love being sweaty all day and having my nuts being stuck to my left leg. And also not being able to go anywhere or wear anything nice, but people still expecting you to be everywhere. Ah, yes, my favorite time of year. <laughs> In America, we say fall because the leaves fall down. I like the sound of autumn. I mean, I, I use fall as well, but autumn is a kind of a pretty sound. It's a pretty name, too. Okay. <clears throat> Winter is the best. Really? I don't know if I could do that. Winter's really gross here. Maybe if I was in another area, I would appreciate winter more, but it's too gross here. I don't mind snow. I don't like driving in it, but I think it's pretty. But only like the first day of it, then it turns to disgusting slush and it's not the same. Pacific Northwest gets those nice few weeks of autumn for sure. Yeah, just just a few weeks of amazing, like glorious weather, and then it all goes away. <laughs> and then and then it's like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm ready for better weather again. But I live for those few weeks of gorgeous weather. And all the colors, everything's so pretty. I'm not even like a big holiday person at least not in the autumn but petrichor that's a cool name i like that petrichor is one of my all-time favorite words i i realized you had to get creative with the spelling but it's a great word i'm possessed by menon but menon isn't the creature that came out to kill us a minute ago so i'm guessing menon is the final boss of this area Welcome in, Petrichor. You're in a good place. Uh, mostly because I appreciate words, and you clearly do too, so there you go. Uh, let's see here. I had to take a call and need to go to the store. I'm out of my medication. Kanata, the way you said that, <laughs> I don't know what that means. The, um, 
The little ellipses that you used before medication indicates that it really could be anything. Wait, why is a foot but not toe instead inch? I don't like it. I don't like that question. <laughs> I don't like it. Heat is the enemy. Oh, Kyle, you don't like getting overheated. Oh, I see. And I'm always cold, so that's not a problem for me. I'm always cold. I have a heating blanket that I use everywhere at all times, even in the middle of summer. I'm always cold. I've, I've got a blanket behind me on this couch and I'm wearing one right now. I'm not ready for fall yet. My dogs are still growing. Oh, figs. Who is like dogs? <laughs> Whoops. My figs. That autocorrect is so annoying. Trash Panda, welcome in. Welcome in, Panda. It's good to see you. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, come on. Murph. Ah! Remember when we restarted this battle because we we had a one-shot death and I was like, it's okay. We'll have time to practice all the these additions and get good. <laughs> it's okay. Damn. Remember that? That was a fun time. Dart avoided that. Interesting. Okay, I have to pay attention because the last time I wasn't paying attention, Zachwell came out of nowhere <laughs> and just ended up here. What's an odd box? Wait, what is that? Ah, oh, interesting. <laughs> I have a cooling blanket. Is that a thing? A cooling blanket? Is that an actual thing or am I just... Am I just falling for something again? I'm very gullible. I used to call it talking to Steve. <laughs> Punching the cone. Yes. Go. Ah. My timing is all kinds of off today. And I can't even help them because I don't have any items for them. There we go. Snap out of it, Meru. Okay, we're gonna guard because I know there's a big baddie coming up after this, so I'm gonna put her on defense. Visiting my cousin Mary Jane. <laughs> Americans are just biased. You cannot remember one, ten, a hundred, a thousand, but you can remember that a finger is seven eighths of an inch. I did not remember that. And a yard is three feet. I also did not remember that. <laughs> Dinkle, you have too much faith in me. I'm terrible with numbers. Remember I said that earlier? That includes measurements of any kind. Um, except I seem to, well, I, I'm better with baking numbers. Is that weird? And a mile is eight furlongs. Did not know that. And two yards is a fathom. Did not know that. And a hundred fathoms is a cable. What the hell is a cable? Other than a, a cord. What is... <laughs> I don't know any of these things. Dinkle, you have way too much faith. I... I don't know either. You have way too much faith in me if you think that I actually know this. Ingesting Beelzebub's bush. Could we name it something else? I like Satan's shrubbery better. <laughs> That's better. There we go. That's better anyway. Um, I can't remember that either, Dink. I won't lie. I yeah, I. Mm -mm. That is not something that I knew in my brain. 
<laughs> it was not there. And I feel like pretending it was is not a good idea. Because then someone's going to ask me to remind them what a furlong is. And I'm not going to know. Like, when I hear the word furlong, I think of furlings from a sci-fi show. Like... Don't get me started on... Wait. Four poppy seeds is it one barley corn and what? Dinkle, what? <laughs> How do we get on to what's a barley corn? Should I be googling this? Die. I just want this leech on his back to get off his back. I'm guessing the leech on his back was, um, Zackwell, but I didn't see it last time. I missed the transformation. Is this it? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, okay. Okay, so that was the thing I missed. Alright, well I'm glad I saw it now. <laughs> Lucifer's lettuce. I like Lucifer's lettuce. It's, it makes it sound like you're um, you're being health conscious. You're just eating a salad. <laughs> I don't know. You guys use. I don't use this system. I don't know who you guys is in reference to. I'm guessing it's Americans, but I am American and I do not use this system. <laughs> Hi, Boo. Welcome in. Deadass, I'm not making- I think you might be making this up. He said, don't get him started. Yeah, but anytime Dingle says, don't get me started, I kind of just want to, like, poke the conversation with a stick. <laughs> just want to be like, I'm not touching you. <laughs> What's a barley corn? <laughs> barley corn sounds like a foot in my shit. <laughs> Ew! Gross! <laughs> Let me introduce you to my barley corn. <laughs> That's nasty. Uh, you're funny. Okay. So we've we've seen this guy already. He uh he one shot killed us a minute ago. Um and I hope we can get him this time cuz I don't have the time to uh come back and do this again. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we're we gotta do something different. So let's just shake things up across the board, Dragoon. <laughs> let's let's just put all of it in one basket, because there's surely nothing wrong with that, right? Okay. God, I love Meru in Dragoon form. She's so cool. Alright. Um he kicked our ass last time, so let's just, let's add some defense to our team first. Rywick, thank you for the hydrate. I always forget. Okay. This is the official Imperial system. I mean, official to someone, not to me. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. If killing Lavitz once wasn't enough, you're doing it again and again and again. <laughs> oh, poor Lavitz. Poor Lavitz. Okay. Now, we're gonna need something. Because I know he's got a killer, killer attack. Like, killer in every way possible coming our way. So let's do... Let's do Diamond Breath for one round to give us a health boost, because we're going to need that. Meru's magic attacks in Dragoon are just so pretty. She's gorgeous. Oh, she's so pretty. And they're good, too. That's the thing. She's actually very helpful. What is that? What What is that? He did that to Dart and it didn't do anything. But what is... <laughs> what was that? 
Okay, what if we just hit him really hard and really fast? Um, let's just... Oh, but I won't have a ton of... That uses most of my MP, so if I did that, that would use 80. And then I would have... I would have explosion or flame shot left over. All right, let's just do what we can. Let's get as much as we can out of it as quickly as possible. <laughs> let's just hit him really hard, really fast. Die. Okay. Ew, Mishka! <laughs> Farleycornfetisher.net! Ew! Dear Diary, September 1, 2023. Fickle has found out that she can bully me for entertainment. Oh no, I have not found this out today. And also, guys, it's the first day of September, thank God! You know what this means, right? It means my, uh, my summer busy season at work ended yesterday. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Meru. Freezing ring. Diamond dust. Freezing ring is 50. Diamond dust is... Okay, let's do freezing ring. Okay. I love all her attacks. They're gorgeous. I love them. His fellow's animations are wild. Yeah, it's so weird. He's got the strangest attacks. But they're they're effective. Like, there's one attack that just completely killed me entirely. So I'm a little scared of it. It's this one. He, like, cuts himself, and then he does something with his staff thingy-majig. And then... And then... Oh, God. Oh, it's so much better when you're in Dragoon. Oh, it's so much better when you're in Dragoon. Okay. Now I know. That's a, that, <laughs> that's the safety part. That's the safe zone. That's where we want to stay. <laughs> she is the moment. <laughs> okay. Um... What do we have? Well, it's... It, it probably went better because of Lavitz, or not Lavitz, Albert offered some defense as well, so. Let's do, oh, I, I suck at these. Ooh, oh! Oh, that's cool. Is it because we're in special? I didn't have to do the command. That was cool. Ooh. It's a whole new world. Meru. Let's hit him with freezing ring again. Okay. Acid reflux. Oh, you mean that, that like, stomach attack that just... <laughs> it's just a little mild bloating. It's totally normal for demonic presences. Okay. Not bad. I'll take it. <clears throat> but see, once Mary was back in her standard form, I feel like she's she's a target now. They're all going to be. At least Dart has a longer... At least he's going to stay in this longer. You know what? Let's test this. Am I gonna have to do it here? Yes. Okay, so it's just Albert who has it because he initiated the special. Okay. Oh, so you found it out before over Yeah, Dinkle, I knew this. I've just been waiting for the right occasion. Mm. Okay. Imagine bullying me for entertainment. Yeah, imagine. That would suck. Who would do such a thing? 
Imagine that. Rose Storm. Okay. Albert's about to lose his Dragoon, so let's add some defense before he does. <laughs> you don't have to imagine. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean. So we're definitely going to need another stream of this to finish it up. Definitely going to need something. Um, I want to start Majora's Mask on Monday. So I will probably have an extra... I'll probably add in an extra stream over the weekend. I'm not sure which day. So it's going to be a little bit of a surprise stream. Um, it's probably going to be an evening stream, which will be different. But I definitely want to start Majora's Mask on Monday. Let's see. What have we got here? We'll do Flame Shot. I think it'll, yeah, I think it'll have to be an evening stream. Or at least it won't be this early. I, I'm not positive, guys, because usually I stick to my schedule. But I really want to start Majora's Mask on Monday, so I will have time to explore it and play as long as I want so I'm gonna have to do the final stream of this one on a on a different day okay what do we need what do we need um let's let's give Moon Serenade will refill everyone. Let's do Moon Serenade. Okay. Triforce, welcome in! Happy Friday! Happy Friday, my friend. You amazing human being. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh no, not this one. Dart's still in his Dragoon form, so he, he should be safe. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's let's get some. Uh... You know what? What the hell? Let's do it. What are we saving up for? Let's just use it. Okay. Okay. Um, something I always liked about this game is that the characters have unique abilities, like not everyone can just learn any magic. Yeah, I love that. They all have kind of their own personalized creations, too. Like, you can tell they've got their own looks, their own uh, attacks. They're really cool. They put a lot of energy into these animations, too. I, I can see that. Okay. Hit him with one last big attack. Yeah, it's it's gonna be an evening stream, Shag, so it'll be different, but evening streams are fun because I know not everyone can watch an early morning, so it, it'll be a nice surprise for those people who don't get to watch these with us. Because I know there are some people who are only watching the VODs when I'm doing morning streams because they just can't make it. So evening stream will be good. We'll shake things up. Help those people who don't normally get to be with us. I got super sick last night, so I'm tired as all hell, but I'm alive. Oh no. Triforce, was it like um, food poisoning or the flu or something? Do you know? I'm so sorry. That sounds miserable. How is he still in the blue? Die. Ugh. Ugh. Alive is good. It's true. Alive is good. Alive is what we're going for. <laughs> Throwing up sucks. I'm sorry. I think it's my acid reflex. I'm sorry. Whoa! What did he just become what is that 
What is that? Can we get a better view on that? What is that? He just turned himself into like a bone pterodactyl or something. Huh. That's new. Okay. I started coughing like nuts and oh no. So it's not food poisoning. Well, at least it's not food poisoning. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Just don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget to hydrate. Cause you know, throwing up is very dehydrating. Oh God, that didn't do anything. Okay. So whatever this is that we've turned into, magic attacks are not great on it. Oh, and now we're back. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. We gotta get people back up to Dragoon as soon as possible. So now Meru's got one. There we go, we're in the yellow. We're making progress. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Ugh. Okay, Albert's got one. <laughs> I don't know, Kyle. It looked like some kind of s skull pterodactyl thing that he turned into. Uh, how's the progress coming along? Hi, Fred. Welcome back. Um, it's it's coming along. It's getting there. Oh. It's getting there. The first time around, uh, first time around, he killed us all in a one shot. <gasps> <gasps> Meru! He took her soul and slapped her with it! Oh, that was rude! <laughs> Damn! Ouch! Okay. Let's bring Meru back. That was a little rough. <laughs> that was a little rough. My ex did that to me once. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Happy Bear! Hello! I'll hug you all in one shot. Yes, please. How are you? He took her soul and slapped her <laughs> Pet. No one is going to understand what, like, the context for that at all when that comes up in, like, a month and it's going to be even better then. Because <laughs> we'll know. Okay, that was harsh. Goddamn. Um, let's, let's use Meru here. We need, we need some health. <laughs> Meru's got some health going on. God. She's definitely my favorite dragoon. I know I keep saying it. She's definitely my favorite dragoon. It's so pretty. That was rough. I've never seen that attack before, but he just didn't give two fucks about her soul. Okay. I've been registering new students to the database. It's been hard to chat today. Oh, that's okay, Fred. Like, you do what you gotta do. I totally understand. Real life always comes first. Totally get it. But I appreciate you being here for whenever you can. I appreciate you. All right. There we go. Little boost of something. Oof. He's scary. Now, I don't have a ton of time before I gotta go to work, so, like... <laughs> He's scary. And poor Meru is not the strongest as far as health goes. Here we go. Okay. We're going to use Albert to give us some additional defense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
I'm pretty dead from moving, but I'm fully moved as of yesterday. Oh, that's so exciting. We'll just be unpacking this weekend. Three straight days of moving. Ugh. Three days sounds terrible. But you did it. You're, you're fully moved now. Now all you have to worry about is unpacking, and I find unpacking to be almost kind of relaxing. Maybe that's just me. But you can, like, you can take all your stuff out and arrange it however you want to and make it look as nice as you want it to be. Okay. Add a little bit of defense here. Okay. If somebody told me, I'm gonna take your soul and slap you with it, I would be like, maybe this is an ain't the fight for me. Maybe, maybe I'm out. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of protection for us. Hopefully this helps us not die instantly. Maybe this helps. Except when he takes our soul and slaps us with it. That's why I never move from my chair. See? That's pro status. Just never leave the chair. If you don't move from the chair, you don't have to move at all. Okay. Good job, Mero. Okay, thanks for the lurk, Fred. Do what you gotta do. Keep your soul. <laughs> okay, I attacked him with magic last time when he was in this form and it didn't do anything. Let's see if, uh, if a standard attack does anything. If it doesn't, this is just something we have to guard. Nope. Okay, so we just gotta guard when he's in this. Ooh. Okay, just guarding whenever he's in this, uh, thing he is. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> Take my soul and slap me with- no, you don't want that. It was not a good look for Meru. It was not good. I love Meru's gigantic bow. Yeah, it's so- her whole outfit is super cute. Her outfit before um, her dragoon and during is just really cool. She's got some style. And she- all of her attacks are like clumsy cute. Okay. I don't have a ton of magic power, so let's just go with a standard attack for now. My timing's off today. All right, uh, we need to get Dart some magic. Do I have anything? That'll work, Sun Rhapsody. Dart is our major offensive player. I love dressing up. I, I, I like dressing up sometimes. You gotta be in the mood for it. I have, I have to be in the mood for it to be able to do it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna warn you. It's 8.40 here. I've got probably another 10, 15 minutes in me and then I have to go to work. If we don't get through this battle today, I will leave it exactly where it is and we'll pick up right here in the middle of the battle next time. I really would love to finish this up. I don't wanna stop mid-battle because that stresses me out but I might have to if I can't get through it today. But he's in the yellow, I'm really hoping. We'll see how it goes. Come on. Die, damn you. <laughs> Hey, 
kind of a design flaw. They don't make these battles shorter in case someone has to go to work, right? Pet, they weren't thinking this through at all. <laughs> no, it's it's because I do it before work. If I were streaming after work, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I'd just stay up late. But I've got kind of a, a little bit of a different method. <laughs> I realize that's a that's a me thing. That and this guy's got some serious health to him. Like, he's not messing around. Oh no. Oh, this is the scary one. Please live, please live, please live, please live. Okay, we made it. We're good. As long as we keep our health, health topped off <laughs> so that we can survive that, we're okay. As long as we can survive that. Oh, he's in the red! We're close! We're close, guys. I really like that they give me that little gauge. It doesn't tell me where we are exactly, but it gives me a hint of, like, we're getting close to it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I know this isn't gonna kill him, but we're close. We need to get some serious health in the others, though. The other two need some health pronto. Okay. Healing breeze. There we go. Okay. If they die now, you got like an hour to do again. No! No! Don't say such things, Kyle! I don't want to do it again! Some of these battles take freaking forever! Can you not see boss HP in this game? No, you can't. So the most I get is see the little like, um, no, wait, it's, it's over. No, it's over here. That little like meter. Wow, this is weird. That little red meter, it, it starts off blue and then it turns to yellow and then it turns to red. So incrementally as you're getting through the battle, it'll tell you where you are kind of, but not how many points are left or how much you need to do so you're flying a little blind but you've got a vague idea of when you're getting close okay this one is no bueno we need to guard on this okay pumpkin you made it i i'm not gonna be here much longer but you made it i'm so glad to see you okay we're gonna guard, because we can't do anything when he's in this weird bone pterodactyl phase. <laughs> this game's so strange sometimes. <laughs> it makes me say the weirdest shit. Pumpkin, I hope you're having a happy Friday. Ouch! Leave Meru alone. Oh no, do we need to, uh... You know what? She's got... This isn't gonna be a t an attack. Because it doesn't attack the doesn't attack the um, opponent, so we'll just use some healies with Meru. Okay, I've I've got a few minutes left. I've got like ten minutes. I can do this in ten minutes. We got this. We got this. <laughs> I gotta try all things with my butt. <laughs> I love some of these. Okay. Um, there we go. We'll just boost everyone real quick so that we can survive this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I had to run errands and pick up Mila when you went live. It's a weird ass confused Friday for me, but you made it. You made it. You're ordering fries. It's all good. Okay. Little something extra. Bought new shoes. That's exciting. I, I'm not a huge fan of clothes shopping, but it's nice when it's done. You know, like when you found something successfully and you get it home and you're like, all right, now I've got new things. That's very fulfilling. I don't enjoy the shopping part personally. It's kind of stressful having so many choices and not knowing what I want. But afterwards, 
it's nice to have it done and feel like I've accomplished something. This madness hero has been evading me all day today. Okay. I don't want to take any chances. We can do this. We're close. I gotta do it fast, though. I'm trying not to rush it, because if I rush it, <laughs> I might mess up and die. But I do have to get to work soon. Let's see. Oh, 100% single. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta go fast, but not too fast, but fast. <laughs> come on, come on. Bring it on home, Albert. Gasless. Oh, this one's cool. I don't think we've seen this one before. Take it home. Die! Damn! Okay, it would have been really cool if he actually did die, but no. No, that would be too easy. Come on. Okay. Come on. So close. We're so close. Actually, I need new shoes really badly. I, I walked completely through my last pair of shoes because I was like, I don't want to go buy new shoes. I really don't want to right now. But, uh, I desperately needed to, so it was one of those moments where I was like, can't put it off any longer, gotta do it today. Come on. Come on, Dart. Got this. Lavitz. Ah. Ah. Lavitz. Meet you again in death. Not dead. You will continue to live in us.
Okay, that scene made me tear up. I love Lavitz. Oh. No, no, why? Why, God, no! Oh, Lavitz, mom, dude. Woo, new addition. That's certainly something I'll have time to do before the end of the game. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go back real quick. There's a save point back here. Okay. Oh, guys. I love Lavitz. Lavitz is way too good for all of us. Lavitz is the true hero of this game. Oh. That's <laughs> so sad. Oh, Lavitz, my dude. Ooh, new addition. <laughs> oh, I'm easily distracted. But oh, poor guy. Rest in pepperonis. Okay. And on that very sweet and sad note. <laughs> okay. Guys. Well, the good news is we beat, we beat the boss like we meant to on time. <sighs> my heart. <laughs> Okay, this is where I have to end stream because I have to dash off to work. Um, that was so sweet. I can't even. That was incredibly sweet. Uh, really quickly, let me just see. I don't even know if I wanna if I wanna raid out. Like, unless someone has someone that they want me to raid, I think I might just end it here on this high note because that was just so incredibly sweet and heartwarming. I loved that. I love that. Um, Pumpkin, do you have do you have someone you want to raid? Because I don't think we reimbursed your points yet. So if you still want to use them, if you have someone, by all means, if you could just uh, drop the full name so that I can look them up in case I don't know them yet. Whoa. Whoa. That was trippy. Did that sound weird to you guys too? Okay. Oh, is Astral streaming right now? Let's see if if astral streaming will just do that. Let's see. Uh yeah, astral is streaming Starfield. Okay. Yeah, um Pumpkin's already paid for it, so we'll go ahead and do that today. Um thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm going to drop you in Astral Beyond's stream. Uh he's a lot of fun. He's a uh, What's the word I can use to describe Astral and his chat? Maybe irreverent? <laughs> There, Astral's a good time, but uh, he can sometimes be an odd duck, but like in a good endearing way. Like there's something that makes you want to talk to him, even though you're like, I'm not sure what he's talking about, but I'm going to jump right in. Jump right in. Like he's not shy at all. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun with him. He's playing Starfield, which I understand is new. I don't know anything about it, but I hope you guys have a good time over there. I'm gonna get things going, and uh, I will see you this weekend. We will do something this weekend. I'm not gonna tell you when, because I don't know myself. But once I, <laughs> once I start, I'll send out a ping. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being here today. There we go. Okay, handing the baton off to Astral. You guys on YouTube that made it this far. Thank you. Have an amazing day, okay? <laughs>